she has. So um, before we go to Jean, um, since we are all together, this is the largest group we'll have for a while, um, I want us to have the opportunity to congratulate Greg on being nominated for the Florence Award. Um, I believe Stu Matson told him he didn't even know. <laughs> so, um, uh, quite the honor. We are so very proud of you, Greg, and, and we're uh, very thankful that you're our team member. Um, the uh, Florence Awards recognize nurses in the Northland, and there are five categories. Empathy, Innovation, Best Nursing Student, Mission Award, and then the Florence Award, which is the highest honor. And uh, I'm going to read what your nominator wrote. Craig began pursuing a career in medicine with the help of the National Guard. He was already an EMT. After being recognized as best in his class in boot camp, Greg started training in medicine at an air base in Texas. I was stunned when he related a story about how on day after a lecture, he came across a crowd around a young woman who was having trouble breathing. Everybody was saying, stay back. An ambulance is on the way. Greg noticed an EpiPen on the floor near the woman. He picked it up and asked her if it was hers. She nodded and then he asked if she wanted him to administer it. She nodded again and by the time the ambulance came, she was almost back to normal. Greg was surprised the next day when the commander of the base called him on stage in front of all of the cadets to award him with a coin for his action. He has designed training programs for EMTs in the National Guard that were so good, other bases started sending their people to Minneapolis to learn using Greg's program rather than create one of their own. He has since been promoted to captain and has been chosen for Airman of the Year. His name has come up many times by people I know who were struggling with loved ones in critical condition when he was a nurse at St. Mary's Hospital. The common theme is, I don't know what I would have done if it hadn't been for that nurse. He just knows how to be supportive and honest. He is a calming force in traumatic situations. People find him very trustworthy. After he received his nurse practitioner degree, he was hired by Scholastica to create a nursing program to support veterans who would like to enter the field. He is exceptionally knowledgeable and qualified. If you get a chance to talk to him, ask him about the innovations he has brought to that program. He has described them to me, but I can't do that here. He also helped start the rugby program at the college. He left St. Mary's now, also works for the Raider Clinic in Cloquet with his own patient load. He has just recently begun pursuing a PhD in nursing. Greg, it is our honor to recognize you um, with the Florence Award for 2020. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody on mute. <laughs> Yay, Craig. Yay. And turn cameras on. I can't figure out how. Oh, no. Congratulations. I unmuted everybody. Congratulations, Greg. Yep. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Well done. Well done. Yep. So proud of now, you. We do have Megan Keller with us. Um, we have um, Greg's parents with us. I'm not sure if his wife is on, um, but Megan Keller is from the Duluth News Tribune. And um, I asked her if we could see the actual award. Hi, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for having me on today's call. It is an honor, Greg, to be here, at least video conference, having the opportunity to award you with this fabulous award. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of history, about a year ago, um, I started thinking about how I wanted to honor um, folks in the medical field, especially those in nursing. And there's many facets in the nursing field that are important. And so this year I decided, um, this is well before COVID hit um, the Northland, but uh, I thought I'm going to go forward with this nursing event. And then COVID happened and I thought I, I got to keep moving forward. We've got to continue on. And we had 76 nominations come through and a panel of judges read through these nominations. And I tell you, the competition was really tough. And your, um, by unanimous vote, the nomination that came through for you was the top vote for the Florence Award. And this is very well deserving. And 
I thank you for your service and what you have done for the nursing community. You truly are deserving of this. So this is the award. I hope you guys can see it. It's kind of got a lot of reflection and it's big. <laughs> so it's a wonderful award. I've already made arrangements for you to have this in the next week. So you'll be seeing it soon. Um, you have a lot of people that are very proud of you. And again, I thank you so much for everything that you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Megan. All right. One more round of applause for Greg. <laughs> can you see us? Yeah, I can. <laughs> My name is Julie. Oh, well, that's right. Oh. right. <laughs> I changed it back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, ha we had to hide your parents and Megan. And <laughs> All right. Well, Greg, amazing. Greg, you, have, you, can have a, you can have a celebratory drink from that kit tonight. Okay, we will do. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. Yeah, Greg, the LMS thing was Greg. scheduled, but we, uh, <laughs> we saw that you had RSVP'd yes, so we just decided um, to leave it that way, and okay. everybody was in on this with you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't uh, sleep through this one. <laughs> yeah, well, I was getting worried because you weren't signing in and weren't signing in. I thought, uh oh, <laughs> what's our backup plan? So, <laughs> thank you guys very much. I really appreciate this. Yeah, congratulations, Greg. No, it's an honor to work with you. Thank you. Well thank done. You. All right, have a good rest of the day. Congratulations. Yep. Congrats. Love you, Greg. And Tiff, I see you too. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> She's over here somewhere. This is my sister-in-law. Hi. I don't know where Tiff is. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Okay. There's Tiff. There's, there's Tiff. Did she get on? She's right there. Yay. Hi, Tiff. Hello. Hi. I caught the end of it. <laughs> Everybody knew but me? Okay. <laughs> Everybody knew but me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was Sam just in there? As I missed yeah. it. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. She's out of bed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I uh, get to work. Then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reschedule uh -huh. the LMS session, Greg, and that'll be a real thing. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't need to <laughs> switch it, but that's the we have an LMS now that we're up to some kind of shenanigans. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys very much. I appreciate this. Congratulations. Thanks.